While doctors and nurses are doing everything they can to help coronavirus patients, there are thousands of people in Massachusetts who are battling other illnesses. Tonight, WBZ's Anna Myler has a look at the changes that Dana Farber has made to continue to care for cancer patients safely. Emily Whittemore just finished chemotherapy three weeks ago. The next step in her fight against breast cancer is surgery, but it's been postponed because of the coronavirus. I'm supposed to have surgery yesterday to remove the remaining nodes, um, and that's been pushed back. At first, it's like, oh, God, you want it out? It's like having a in some ways like a parasite in your body, you're like you really just want to get it out. Dana Farber Cancer Institute is making changes to their treatment plans for patients with breast cancer during the pandemic to reduce in-person visits and decrease immunosuppression. I have been a breast cancer doctor only for about 30 years. I cannot remember any time like this. Some of the changes include stopping all routine breast cancer screenings until June 15th, postponing surgeries when possible, and using alternative treatments to chemotherapy, which can lead to a suppressed immune system. The worry is that if one has COVID and one is immunosuppressed, that you're at greater risk to have complications from it. The changes are meant to help protect patients and free up scarce resources. We have some doctors who really need to be deployed in other areas. Emily says she is staying patient and positive. I think your thoughts have a big input, so you can, you can sit at home and not feel like a victim. I mean, you can exercise, you can meditate, you can do things to think, I am not an emergency. I can say that for myself and know that I've got time. Anna Myler, WBZ News.